cows, no bull has ever been able to handle me. Yeah. And I know I'm a charming cow. Yeah. Hey, we should try plentyofbulls.com. I bet they know their way around the teats, if you know what I mean. This looks like the bull for you, Becky. 1,001. 1,002. Oh, hi. Didn't see you there. Yes, I did. For all you cows looking for the right stuff, Fabio is your bull. I have a great RFI rating, and that's pretty important for a bull you're going to spend the rest of your life with. An RFI, or residual feed intake, is the difference between what the farmer thinks I should eat and what I eat to maintain my body weight and level of production. Unlike those other bulls, I'm making the most out of my ration. When I get my roughage that's full of protein and fiber, I'm building body mass instead of maintaining. Having a good RFI reduces my cost of production and helps to formulate more efficient rations. It's the next frontier in beef production. Isn't that where you want to be? Right, ladies? So, Pam, what are you into? Hmm. Pam, Pam, what? what? I said, what kind of bulls are you into? Oh my god, let's take a look. What about this bull? Well, ladies, I know what you're looking for in a bull these days, and I got it. I have sound and symmetrical feet, which make for a bull that can go distance. Ooh. You haven't noticed. I'm a very masculine bull, and I have great muscle expression in my neck, which is optimal for the genetic genome transfer. And I have wide meaty shoulders, which correlates to the gestation and weaning weights. So give me a call, or whatever. I don't even know what I'm looking for anymore. My owner has been really interested in developing his breed plan, so we've been looking more at the genetically gifted bulls. For the past couple of years, we've had a lot of problems with ease of calving, and our last bull was not really well equipped, if you know what I mean. I've heard around the water trough that he's been looking into EBVs. Yep, estimated breed values a genetic valuation system that tests bulls pedigree and performance so owners like mine can choose the right bull for their herd. Well, I'm sure it depends on what market you're aiming for, right? Yeah, knowing your target market can help select for the most important traits that will make a larger economic difference. Oh, I love money! Hey, look at this guy! Says he's the most fertile bull in North America. Well, hi there. If you're looking for high fertility, and genetic merit in the range of good calving needs, well, you come from the right place. If you ain't fertile, don't matter how pretty you are. If you give me a ring, I can maybe show you my ideal scroll diameter, which is way above 32 to 34 centimeters. And scrotal size is a good indication of earlier onset puberty, which is passed on to my daughters and aids in increasing their fertility. Oh, and before I forget, if you check out my cow book page, you'll see that my EBVs are 5% higher than the average bull in calving ease, which means that you'll see 2.5% less difficult births in the heifers that I have bred. You just can't beat that. Ultimately, the butts, nuts, and guts are subjective to an individual producer. However, each plays a key role in selecting breeding value and reproductive soundness. With each of these traits, the producer must choose a combination of these inputs to achieve his economic goals. You want to be a star, don't you? This pony's inside the house, and I'm on it. 